So we are back from Madeira and um, first day back, we arrived back last night at like half past nine at night, 10 o'clock. Actually no, half past 10 by the time we got home. And um, so today he's been unpacking. Um, it's still morning, gotta go shopping. It's only 10 to 10 in the morning. Um, but again, we're gonna do grocery shopping today. Um, rearrange the plants because I had them in the kitchen. And my plants are all alive. I am now gonna read, these are in the kitchen. I had them in the kitchen while we were away just in case they needed water and I could tell somebody to water them. But now redistributing around the house. But they look, they look um, attractive all together, but just handily, unhandily on top of my freezer. So that's no good whatsoever. And I want to get some ham out of the freezer. They've survived. It's good, the indoor plants. Um, I get up to take some videos. I've got lots of video making to do. Um, I have put on over half a stone in weight. So there's a bit of salad eating to be done as well. Um, so I've got out, you know, um, at Christmas time, if you saw the Vlogmas, we made um, did a huge ham and cut it into portions and froze them. I've got, I've got a cooked ham portion out so we'll be eating ham salads this week. I've um, taken out of the freezer some chicken. When we got back we found this cake in the fridge for us. Look, welcome back. Well, welcome back cake. Isn't that nice of somebody? It's been one of those days where I, I really feel like I need to pamper my skin. Having got back I my skin felt dry because I wasn't using my normal anti-aging products so um, last night when I got home I smothered myself in uh, my face in glycolic acid and then this morning I've used a mask and um, I really want to get back into routine with the matrixels and the vitamin C's and everything because it's feeling they're protecting it from the sun obviously good thing um, it just feels like it needs some tender loving care I'm going to show you this milk this is Cravendale skimmed milk that Annabelle bought before um, see, 19th of August um, date which would be almost two weeks after we got home so skimmed milk, Cravendale, and she bought it before she joined us on holiday because she came out a week after us. We were up for two weeks, she was for one. But before she left, she actually bought this milk and she bought herself some full cream milk, the full milk, full fat milk. Um, but I thought it was a really good idea and also putting label on it. So friends of Annabelle's living in a house while we were away. Um, so she put labels on it, don't open, it's for mum's return. Well, it's Saturday and um, and I'll show you my mug that I got from Portugal. It's a shame they didn't have a Madeira one. They could have actually had one with lots of plants and agapanthus and so on. But that's Portugal, my lipstick mark on it. Portuguese castle. John's gone swimming well from his way in. And I have saved up a couple of parcels that came in the week to show you. So it's a little bit of an unboxing. One is this one from Nordstrom. The anniversary sale. It is the one thing that I ordered, and it is this, the cocoon one. I couldn't get a small, and last year when I got a bear cocoon cardigan, I ordered a small. I had to get medium this time, so it might be a bit big. But I actually think, the knit's quite tight, so I actually think that's not bad. I like the colour, this neutral colour, this sort of a dove grey. I don't know what they call it, I don't think they call it dove grey. That's like, just like a blanket, isn't it? So I know the cocoon shape's quite popular. It's got pockets, it's got pockets, no, it's got, yes, pockets on both sides, that's nice. Um, I'll show you in the mirror in a sec. But I like that. It's a cosy, 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 cosy cardigan. Oh, it's a good fit, actually. Good length. And uh, it doesn't look noticeably big across the shoulders at all. So I think I got away with that one. Really pleased? Barefoot Dreams cardigan. Now the other package, if, I, if this is what I think it is, it's not something I've actually bought. Um, it's something that's been given to me to review for my blog. I will review it on YouTube as well if I like it. But um, yeah, it's mainly for my blog because that's much bigger than my YouTube. Um, yeah, my YouTube's tiny. Growing. Started quite new. Tiny, tiny. So I'm right. Um, for my blog, I've been sent by Lumity um, a cleanser, four-in-one cleanser, and also a facial oil. To review. I'll let you know how I get on with those. Something else as well. Something in here. Very, very light. Might be a CD. Not a CD. It's uh, it's tablets for a week. Yep. Your seven day on the go supply. Take in the morning and take at bedtime. Thank you, Lumit. Just actually look at the back of this. I think it's all natural ingredients. I can't see that with glasses. I need my verifocals on. But um, 
31 botanical based active um, ingredients, including activated bamboo, charcoal, biodegradable hova beads, and a feel good aromatherapy blend of essential oils. This unique formula dissolves impurities, pollutants, and cosmetics, revealing a brighter looking radiant complexion. When we came back from um, Portugal, flew back to British Airways. The things in the duty free magazine that I quite like the look of, I did um an R over it. I kind of I did spoil myself. I bought two things, and the most expensive thing I bought was this bracelet. But if you know me, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you, you would just know that I couldn't listen to that. I think that was actually quite cheap was this necklace from, um, it's a pendant, a uh, locket, there you go, um, from Bill Skinner. And pineapple, but if you open it up, a piney cocktail inside it. Not the bear, you horrible beast. Will you stop it? No, no, no. I am going to have a go at making, um, washing up my makeup brushes. I normally use the Beauty Blender um, soap, but I'm going to actually use a method I've seen um, Beauty in the Know use. And I have put a tablespoon of uh, fairy liquid, there you go, um, into a glass bowl. And I'm going to add two capfuls of white vinegar. Fill the bowl up you know, with hot water from the tap, just warm, warm water. Um, if you might remember, recognise that, some of you. That's a pampered chef thing. We use it for, you know, in the kitchen. I thought, no harm from washing my brushes in there. Now I'm swirling my brushes in. It's actually fizzing and foaming in there. All that's come out. And yeah, I get the same effect if I use my Beauty Blender. But Beauty Blender soap, although it's going to last me years and years and years and years, it is expensive. It's very expensive. I think it's in like... Forty pound, and it'll probably last me about five years. But I don't want to invest forty pound in um, makeup brush cleaner. Hey, this works, doesn't it? This works. Look at that. Foundations come off that one nicely. Then another after rinsing, another bowl of warm soapy vinegar water for another go. Let's see the water's just remaining fairly liquid green now, and not. Mucky with makeup. So that must have worked. Now a final rinse. So talking about my brushes, I've got this one which is um, Real Techniques blusher brush. I've got them. <laughs> you can get them in Sainsbury's. You can get them in the supermarket. This one is um, the one four two, and I use it. As a it's a concealer buffer by Zog Zogba Zova Zova. That's right. Yeah. Um. Then I have this one, which is a number seven brush, and I really like that for eyeshadow because of the shape of it. You see, it's angled. And then this one I ordered recently because I just wanted a flat brush for my foundation. I just wanted to try a cheap one. And this is Flat Kabuka 201 by La Mera. Got that off Amazon. Anyway, that's come out nice and white now. These are the brushes that I've used this week. And I don't, yeah, you know, I don't use that many brushes, to be honest. I don't. So I haven't got... You know, I've got lots and lots. If I was using more during the week, I'd been using more, I would have been washing more. But these are the ones that I'm using every day. That one for concealer, that one for foundation, that one for blusher, and that one for eyeshadow. Then I lay them on a sunny windowsill to dry. Flat. I lay them flat. And I would do that anyway if I was using my beauty blender. That's how I'd dry them. So, uh, using the same method. It's a rainy Monday. We just put the chickens away. They were wandering around until it started raining. It's nice and fresh feeling there. I like the sound of the rain this time of year. And the fresh feel of it. I don't necessarily. I know what rain makes you feel autumn, doesn't it? Feel autumn and fall or whatever you call it in your country. Talking of which, my fall fab fab. Fab Fit Fun Box arrived, and that's another video, but I have unboxed it, and I ordered in one of the options, I ordered the cheese, cheese board, all day. Yes, so now, having been deprived of cheese, cheese boards all my life, I've now got three since last year. So, um, John thinks I'm a bit nuts, really. I won't order anymore. I don't use any more cheese boards. I, I'm an, I have enough cheese boards now, but that's another one to add to my collection. 
and that comes out easy wash that way you can put pâtés and things on that and it came with a couple of little um utensils as well so that's a nice addition to so collection. hard to believe but it's actually three weeks since i started this vlog we've been home three weeks now um i haven't done an awful lot i've not really bought very much there's not been any um unboxing for you um I haven't done anything to show you. Anyway, today is a bank holiday weekend, so we've got a three-day weekend. It's um, we've got a bit of a heat wave, but we're going up to about 33C, and that means barbecues or eating the garden, um, going out and doing things. But in the last three weeks, the weather's been absolutely it's been awful, really awful, miserable. And so it's back into summer gear again now, and. Uh, I'm on my way to get my heatwave leg wax done. <laughs> no, it's already booked in anyway, but uh, it's convenient. Um, and then we thought we were, one of the vineyards around here has got an open day today, so we're going to pop along and see that. Anyway, more later. Okay, well that was a bit of a muck up. We went to go to have my um, leg wax. The appointment's not on. So I'm walking home, get a phone call, so the address has turned up. Yeah, I knew something was happening at 10. So I've got a belt home. I got a haircut out of 10 at my house. So, one haircut later, we are off to go to ex see what this event is at the vineyard. But also, as we're over this way, we're going to go to the garden centre and pick up some plants because the pots in the front garden have just died. They're just, they're just torched. Brat, the torched messes, just torched messes from earlier in the summer. So, um, and also while we're away, we don't really get watered the day. So, um, yeah, they need redoing. and. Um, yeah, so as the vineyard is not far from the garden centre, might as well do them both at the same time. Yeah, these little pinks. We've got four for a tenner. Hmm. Now, pansies. There's lots of pansies. Taxi. This bodes well. Actually, a lot of people will come in taxis. It bodes well for one of us and not for the other one of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe we should take the car home and get a taxi. There is even a bus. I've just unloaded a load of chairs from their taxi. Um, we haven't come prepared with chairs. Yeah. Okay, so we have been told to come onto this grass here so that we can let all the taxis out and a coach out. And there is a ditch down there. So that worked out well. It's a ticketed event. We didn't have tickets, tickets sold out. So, second success of the day, huh? Aren't I doing well? Anyway. We were just, um, I shouted out to John, oh, there's a ditch, there's a ditch, we're going to ditch. And someone in the next car, the cars were also close, someone in the next car said, well, this is ditchling. <laughs> oh, well. So that was a bright idea, it didn't work out. But the only reason I knew about it was because it appeared on Facebook yesterday. Uh, one of my friends is interested in going, you know, he comes up as so-and-so is interested in. I thought, oh, okay, you know, that's just down the road. I, we can pop along. Um, didn't really know what it was, just thought we'd just go along with people wine tasting or something like that on an open day, have a look around the vineyard type thing. Obviously not. So, lesson learned. So excursion number two, or three. Um, we have been home, we've had lunch, we've collected the dogs, and we have decided that what we're going to do now is go to the cider tap, Wobblegate, Wobble Wobble and pick up some cider and then have that in the garden. Mighty fine. Like a shadow in the dark, ready to... Given the weather out there, beautiful, and a fresh back from Madeira three weeks ago, we got this in duty free. John has made me my favourite drink out there, a tomato poncha. At this point, this is a poncha pin. It's called a pin. Pin, P-I-N, pin. 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 Pin, yeah. I don't, know what, I don't know what wood it's made from. I haven't got a Scooby, but hey, it's from Madeira, isn't it? Says it on the uh, does exactly what it says in the tin. This may well, be this taste, the pin. 
It's made me a tomato puncher very nicely. It's, it's made you. you more than one tomato puncher, yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, for reference, if you actually go to Madeira, the uh, puncher drinks are typically passion fruit or um, uh, orange. Um, yeah, but I actually do really, really favour, as you would have seen in my travel vlogs, the tomato one from Camara de los Lobos. So we've come to our friends Julia and David for lunch for a barbecue, barbecue Sunday. the morning after the night before and I've got to say that we were at our friends pretty well all day yesterday and had a very good afternoon um, but suffering for it today so cup of tea in the garden <laughs> 